Our studio, Tom Davis together with Rick Dempsey and joined now by Mike Bordick in the Madison Broadcast booth. And obviously, Trey Mancini's done a real nice job since the All-Star break. Why has he been able to get better, Mike? Well, I'll tell you what, Trey Mancini's confidence is uh, through the roof right now, but it's all because of his approach. Um, staying back, letting the baseball come to him, probably the most important thing for Trey Mancini, and that confidence goes hand-in-hand hand with seeing the ball better. Take a look at his split since the All-Star break and some of the sabermetric numbers here as well. Pre-All-Star break, the number's well down for Trey Mancini, and I think everybody could see it really in his face, just trying too hard, wasn't hitting as many line drives, and when he did, uh, they were hit right at people. That's why his batting average with balls in play was down 260. His uh, weighted runs created, which are the runs that he creates actually at his home ballpark and every ballpark in the league and it's all adjusted to the factors of ballparks of course Camden Yards not that tough to play in uh, comparatively speaking as a smaller ballpark but his numbers way down the league average on the WRC plus is 100 he was down below 80 at 79 in the first half the Woba that's about a 315 league average 289 for Trey Mancini and that's one of those all-encompassing um, offensive statistics Probably the best number in the sabermetric world today to kind of judge a hitter and find out how well they're doing. The line drive percentage we talked about down pre-All-Star break. But since he's made the adjustments, staying behind the baseball, all of his numbers elevated. The batting average with balls in play, he's starting to find the holes. I think it just goes hand in hand with the confidence. I don't think you can directly look at numbers for any type of player and really understand the player, what his makeup is, how he's going to do on a certain night. But since the All-Star break, you can almost guarantee that Trey Mancini is going to have quality at bats. He's quiet in the box right now. He's seeing the ball very well, limited head movement. And when he can control his own strike zone, which he didn't really have control of in the first half, he's going to shoot the ball all over the field. The line drive rates are up right now. Everything well above average, almost to the excellent point in his Woba and WRC+. Plus. Now, Mike, how important is Trey Mancini to the Orioles team? Well, I think he's uh, crucial importance right now. Uh, you really have to look at when they look to their young players as the building blocks of the future. I think Trey Mancini is one of the most important pieces. A kid uh, that came up through the system, he worked hard to get where he is today, and he's not going to stop working. I mean, it shows up every day, trying to make himself better and better. Came up as a first baseman, made himself an outfielder, actually, to get into this lineup. He might not be the best defensive outfielder, but he goes out there and he works to try to get better and better. Certainly, much much better than he was last year out there in left field and his bat really starting to show some consistencies last year third in rookie of the year voting I mean Mancini really burst onto the scene and really tested this year and I think this year is only going to make him better throughout his career.